Welcome to season one, episode three of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Just as a little heads up, uh, I have been sick. I have a double ear infection and a sinus infection at the moment. So I may be coughing in this. I may need to use a cough drop. If I do, I'll try and clean up some of those noises, uh, at least quiet them a little bit. So it's not so terrible when you watch the video, um, but it kind of is what it is. So let's just get into it. The cargo is secure. Looks like a clean shot from here. Roger that. Really? Does it? Take point on your front door. See you at the drop stop, Mac. I'm clear. The hell are they hauling? Uh, yep. What the hell just made that car fly up in the air like that? Oh, shit. Back door is clear. Protect the cargo at all costs. Is it? I feel like the same thing's gonna happen to you. We are under attack from an unseen I don't know what. Yep. Oh, shit. Shield region CT. Oh, hell, I can't explain. Yeah. It's an unseen force of some kind. Are we there yet? Did anything about that seem like it went the way it was supposed to? Unless he expected to be kidnapped or rescued or whatever. Dr. Franklin Hall, known for his work. Oh, no, no, Dr. Hall. He was our chemical kinetics advisor our second year. We can okay. rescue him, can't we? He's one of ours. And the attackers? Invisible. Wait. Invisible. Uh-huh. <laughs> cool. And what does priority red mean? I mean, security should have been... ...heavy. It's pretty damn scary. Oh, he survived. Are you saying they were working with somebody inside S.H.I.E.L.D.? Sorry to say, it had to be. It's kind of activated some thing. Can we deactivate it now? Oh, great. Awesome. That did all this. Hmm. What is that? Something big. In a really tiny package. I can upload an image of the tread pattern and check to see if there's any sort of... done. Master to a 2010 model. So Ward said a funny thing. He said that you guys don't have a truth serum. Ward said that? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, wait, uh, wait. Uh, Do you want me to bench press this? Read it. Every communication out of HQ since they decided to transfer Dr. Hall. Yeah, you're new. You get the grunt work. Barn Roof Point, Colorado? Is that a real place? I haven't done anything wrong. Of course not. But you sold your excavator to some people who did. And you're hiding out here until things cool down. I just want to know who paid you. You paid me enough not to answer any questions like that. And how did you receive this money? Cash? Gold? Paid you in gold? Now it really feels like the Old West. That's fair. Why is he tied up? Does he look like a threat? He looks familiar. Always been a stubborn bastard. Now you finally found a place where the watchdogs can't touch you. Not without breaking international law. Well, I feel like that's what we're gonna do. Well, gravitonium distorts gravity fields within itself, causing an undulating amorphous shape. Which causes these, um, wiggly bits here but when an electric current is applied the gravitonium solidifies and those gravity fields erupt randomly changing the rules of gravity around it okay so that explains things being thrown and all that well you could just remember because we saw it already didn't we <laughs> yeah and guess which genius published every theory about gravitonium and possible applications dr franklin hall correct yes. i built the full-size generator I need you to tell me how to control the gravity. So if that teeny tiny one can do the damage it did, what can this one do? The man's a prisoner and it's up to us to get him out. We've checked the specs. 
doesn't seem like that much of a prisoner. This guy's actually being pretty nice. Civil, for now, I guess. If we go in alone. S.H.I.E.L.D. can disavow us, claim ignorance. Without a man inside, it's impossible. If we had a monkey, we could get in. Oh, fix! If we had a small monkey, he could slip through the sensors and disable the fence's power source with his adorable little hands. I could go in. Any agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. caught on Maltese soil can be shot to death with bullets. Yeah. Legally. Not me. Shield. I could go in. She's not officially an agent yet, is she? Well, I'm not an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., so I can go in without breaking all these stupid rules. International laws. This isn't something <laughs> the Rising Tide can hack, Sky. But I've got an invitation. How? She just wrangled an invitation on her phone using insider back channel voodoo in minutes. But sending her in with no training, you're taking a huge risk. I know Director Fury felt he owed you after you sacrificed yourself. In my card collection. He gave you some autonomy, but Sky on a covert op? I still want to know how he survived. That's her job. Ignore protocol. Find connections and back doors that nobody else can see. Something else is bothering you. Gee, I wonder where that could be. Were you hard on her? Sure. I tried playing nice, too. I need a new strategy. Try no strategy. Yeah, let her do her own thing. And then? Then? Things are moving too quickly. I'm a proper Southern girl. You'll make me untidy. How did you learn computer science without committing yourself to it? CS comes naturally to me. I'm sorry I'm not naturally whatever you are. You think this came naturally? I had a brother who beat the crap out of me. Me and my little brother. I had to learn to protect us. That was my moment. You asked. Didn't mean to push, but I did manage to take this. Getting the gun is one thing. Pulling the trigger, that is another. Now, what's first? Sky will walk in the front door. The only external access point to Quinn's underground facility. I'm ready for these two to hook up. <laughs> the perimeter is surrounded by a 20 foot high neodymium laser grid. Touch it and you're toast. Awesome. The only way to cool. disable the grid is to crack the system and trigger a reboot. This would give the team three seconds to cross. Three seconds? Easy as pie. Well, it will be. You stick to the plan. Got it. Plan, green, drop, walk, pie. <laughs> I don't sure. question your order, sir. Good. But? But I've already seen far more combat than I bargained for. This two-man extraction team, that's exactly the kind of action I was hoping to avoid. So that's why I'm going in. You forget, I saw plenty of action with the Avengers. Yeah, and you got killed. And you died. All right, team. Suit up. Everyone here is in a dark color, and she's in bright pink. Skipper to Bravo. I got eyes on top dog. Be more obvious about it, will you? What are you doing? Uh, sorry, I, I don't know. I see Quinn. I'm going to go talk to him. <laughs> I'm glad you've heard of our site. I read it. We think very much alike. More freedom of information, less government infringing on everyone's rights. Interesting that, like, he knows who she is. You gotta show me how you did that. I mean, if you sign on. Sign what now? <laughs> Are you offering me a job? Well, I didn't invite you here for your pretty face. I didn't know you had a pretty face. Yes. I'm curious what she thinks about that. Her reaction was interesting. Oh, shit. This could have been a traumatic experience for Dr. Hall. He may not be the same when we find him, Ward. I'll talk him down. Yeah, as in he's going to be working for the other guys. Or himself, I guess. With all these la -di da people, you have to be so guarded. So careful. what you say? What secrets you reveal? And I was hoping that you and I could be honest with one another. Is she going to actually tell him S.H.I.E.L.D.? Yep. I thought she was done for, but she's just sweet talked away into Quinn's office. How she managed that? <laughs> Probably just used her, um, uh, uh, her, uh, uh, uh boobs. Oh, yep. That's the only exponent. Oh my gosh, the signals. Uh oh. Oh lord. Shit. How is she going to explain this? I've been gathering intel, fighting my time, till I could become useful. Why would they trust you with a covert operation like this? Something about S.H.I.E.L.D. not breaking international laws? They had no other options. Whereas, I like to keep mine open. I don't know though, is she gonna... 
try and go back to them. Right. And play it off and trick them again. That is what these people do. They prey on fear and loneliness and desperation, and then they offer a home to those who have no one else to turn to. Kind of sounds about right. Damn, a little rusty, I guess. Okay. They wanted me to do whatever it takes to get in here. Yep, okay. We have a man down. Hostiles on the east ridge. Great. Yeah. Beth! Saying his name repeatedly does not increase productivity. Okay, go. Oh, maybe it does. <laughs> System rebooting in two, one. Why did he? Oh, shit, okay. Now the three seconds doesn't seem quite so bad. I was thinking like, Entrapment style laser grid sort of a thing, not not this. Takes more than a pretty face to disarm me. Sir, we have a security breach. Oh, the timing on that was perfect. <laughs> and she's not really close enough to do the, the thing that she may or may not have learned how to do. Yes, sir. Let's get you out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. She doesn't want to go. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Our strategy did not take into consideration you saying that. <laughs> I don't know what Quinn is promising you, but an opportunity. We can't let Quinn have control of this. It's too dangerous. We can't let anyone have control of this. That's why I'm here. The buried at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, OK. Something tells me that wasn't the off button. Something tells me you're correct. Quinn built a gravity generator, like the one we found, but bigger. Way bigger. I'll disconnect the power before things get crazy. Um. Well, it did say it would change gravity. This is pretty cool. Shields against everything you stand for. <laughs> They're big brother. Well, now the gun's closer. Maybe. But the nice big brother who stands up for his helpless little brother when he's getting beat up because he ate a piece of cake that he wasn't, you know. <laughs> I think you're losing him here. Ward, tell me you've got things covered on the ground. I can't do a damn thing from out here. I'm working on it. The ground's about to not be the ground anymore. I sent you in here with nothing. <sighs> it taught me a few things. But do you have what it takes to There's still the another gun pointed at you. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. All right. But. This would be a fun set. Shield is just as guilty of the same thing. Experimentation without thought of consequence. Your search for an unlimited power source brought an alien invasion. Fair point. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing. Like, a lot of these people make very valid points about S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. You heard? Just follow my orders. I'll get us out of here. She ran right to him and immediately, like, needed to touch him. She just, like, needed to feel safe. And she feels safe with him. You made a hard call. Yeah. And now I have to make mine. Oh, okay. He's the catalyst. Great. Interesting. Would have thought I just would have, like, ripped him to shreds, but okay. Yeah, she's a little more serious about it now. You and your brothers. Where'd you grow up? Massachusetts, mostly. I feel like I can't trust anything he says. I made my choice. I want this. Dad. 
I believe that. But is she still going to do Rising Tide stuff on the side? Because it's clear she wasn't, you know, just on her own there. Why are we here with this? Is he still alive in there? Yeah. What the hell did you just create now? What kind of freaking gravity supervillain do we now have? <sighs> All right. Uh, that was a good episode. I liked that one. I still feel like I can't trust him. Uh, I, I mean, I feel like I'm supposed to be trusting him because she definitely was the one that like proved she was a little bit untrustworthy. But I mean, she still was on our side, on our team the whole way through. So, and I, I feel like though that she wouldn't just like make the decision that quickly. Although, I mean, I guess maybe, I don't know. I don't know these characters well enough yet to really be able to guess those sort of things. Um, so I'll find out, I guess, but it seems like she definitely was more in it for sure. Uh, than she has been before, at least, you know, obviously here at the end after she went through all that and if that backstory that she just shared is is true, then it definitely makes sense that she would want some place where she felt like she belonged, part of a a unit of some kind. Yeah, so definitely I could see where she'll be a good fit for that. Because with Rising Tide, it's clear she, you know, she'd obviously been a loner. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all plays out. So I want to know about Colson. <laughs> uh, I'm intrigued now with this thing this new version of the scientist we're gonna see where that goes because i'm sure we're not done with that um but yeah no definitely i'm like i'm finding myself getting a little bit more into it with each episode which is obviously what i want i'm still very early in the show so like i'm not expecting to be hooked right now i do usually like to be like hooked and in it you know five-ish episodes in if i'm not there like by the end of episode five, I start to get a little antsy and like wonder if I'm going to get super into it right now. I do like it. I am enjoying it. I like the little callbacks to stuff that I've already seen. And I, you know, I've already mentioned I am going to do this whole entire first season uh, because I have to get through episode 16 before I watch Winter Soldier, which is the next Marvel movie that I am due to watch. So if you're watching this on YouTube, it's not going to make any sense. The timing is way off. All this stuff is out of sync. But if you're watching it on Patreon, actually, it still won't make sense for you because this is going to go out way later than Winter Soldier. But I'm recording it before Winter Soldier. Um, so uh, yeah, I was told get through episode 16. And at that point, there's not a ton of episodes left. So I might as well just, you know, finish out the rest of this first season for sure. And then we're going to play it by ear and see how it goes. But I mean, if they keep this up, I just need to get attached to these characters. And I'm already starting to a little bit more. Um, I I would like more of that, which I definitely got it, I think, in this episode between these two. If the backstories they shared are accurate, are true, then we definitely got a little bit more. And there's obviously some chemistry between, between the two of them. Uh, so I am getting into that. It's kind of the team as a whole. And then those other, you know, side characters that I... I want more of a deeper connection with in order for me to like become invested in these characters and what happens to them. That is what I care about the most in a show. I just really need to care about the people in the show and like care about what happens, you know, and what they do. So again, we're still only three episodes in. I don't expect that to happen right now. And I, I'm happy with the progress so far. So <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap up this one. If you are watching this on Patreon, thank you so, so much for the support. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to catch up with those on Patreon who got this episode, I don't even know how long ago because I don't know when these are going to go on YouTube. Uh, they're way far ahead, though. I can tell you that. Um, just click the link in the description below to head over to Patreon. I will also have in the description below the most recent episode they did receive so you can know exactly how far ahead they are. And uh, it's full reactions over there on Patreon in a watch along style, which means you do need to have your own copy of the episode to play at the same time you watch my video. But I have timers and different things that I do to help you like sync those two up. So it's really easy to do. And that is, of course, for copyright reasons. But if you want to hang out here on YouTube instead, that's absolutely cool. Just make sure that you hit the subscribe and notification button so you don't miss the next episode when it goes out. And hopefully I will see you in that one.